Madonna. Madonna brought her celebration tour to New York City last night. She was here last night. Now, this is a funny thing. Madonna is worth $850 million. It doesn't even compute in my mind that amount of money. And, but people are shocked that Madonna flew into New York on a commercial flight. There she is at JFK Airport <laughs> with her kids. And you know what's so crazy? Like, you would think that someone with that kind of wealth and fame would fly in a private jet. So I'm like, but I'm like, Madonna, you got all that security team. What do you, you, and she went coach. It didn't make any sense to me, because I'm like, coach, like, you, you got to find a balance. So she goes through, I, I just was shocked. She goes through TSA security like everybody else over here. I'm like, Madonna, you ain't got pre-check. <laughs> Wait, you, wait, you don't have clear? Like, Madonna, you don't know how to fly. Like, you, you don't have global entry. So these, the, the TSA women, they yelling at Madonna just like they do us when we go through. Uh, Madonna, you're gonna have to throw out those drinks. Take off your shoes. And then you know they're going, ladies and Madonna, take off your wigs. Take off your wigs. Cause y'all know how these CSA agents be. And I know when they see Madonna, they're like, uh, ma'am, you can, you gotta take that comb bra out your bag. Take that comb bra. <laughs> they can't take it out the bag and put it in, by, in the tray by itself, Madonna, in the tray by itself. <laughs> and there's always some TSA agent going, you know what, these whips and chains, you either gonna have to check these, cause you can't bring these through. I said, I don't know what do the security guard go through the thing with her? Do they all stand up there like to sell about? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I love the fact that she flies, just she flies coach and she flies like a Virgin Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> coach for the very first time. <laughs> I had to. It's just something I was thinking about that. I just would never expect Madonna to be doing this. And I go, Madonna, what are you riding coach for? I just want to know, audience, if you could fly first class, clap if you would still fly coach. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all, uh-huh. <laughs> y'all heard first class, I said clap. Y'all was like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, coach people want to go first class when you fly coach. And here's the thing, Madonna, if you sit next to Madonna on a regular uh, coach flight, nobody's gonna believe it's Madonna, okay? That's probably why she does it. Nobody believes it's her, so they leave her alone. But you, when, let me tell you something, Madonna, because uh, when you fly in coach, you lose all your elbow room, no arm rest for you there. Once that middle seat is taken, you like, you, and y'all always fighting for the, for the doggone seat. And then if you gotta go to the bathroom, you're gonna be like, excuse me, excuse me. And everybody's gonna be mad going, oh, Madonna gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Moving out the way. And then Madonna the whole way to the bathroom, everybody's gonna be stopping you going, are you Madonna? You gonna wet your pants before you even get to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know why you want to put yourself in front of this. And I bet you, Madonna, you've never had that person in front of you put that, push that button and they lean all the way back. <laughs> that is the worst when they're leaning all the way back and you just like, I got to do this for the next five hours. So I just said, Madonna, if you're trying to show us that you're an everyday woman, you don't have to. We understand. When you go by one name, you don't sit in coach. <laughs> one name, you better go on up there. We're gonna